Welcome back to Harbaugh. In the first three months of this year, threats to members of Congress are three times higher than a year ago. Police say nearly all the threats are from opponents of health care reform. And the health care overhaul is one of the main things that has Dr. Rex Rammel upset. Rammel's running for Republican in the Republican primary for governor of Idaho, challenging the incumbent governor, Butch Otter. He wants government out of his business and the state's business and says it's time to resist. Whether it comes from state militias or Tea Party groups, he says his platform is resistance and he'd prefer it to be nonviolent, but he's willing to do what it takes. Welcome, Dr. Rammel. What's wrong with our form of government? What don't you like about our government? The form of it, the way it works. Well, I believe that the, uh, we've gotten off track, Chris. Uh, the federal government was never to be everything to everyone. In fact, uh, the founders wanted just a limited federal government to take care of the things that the states couldn't. And the problem is, is that the federal government has usurped uh, state authority um, over just about every aspect of our lives, right. and, uh, and the states are pushing back now. What, what government in the world do you think is better than ours? Give me one example of the world uh, where you've studied, where you think there's a better form of government somewhere yeah. than the one we have in this country. You know, just give me an example uh, of a country I'm like a, better I'm than not ours. A, uh, authority on world governments. Well, is there any standard you're holding in any other kind of government you like than the one we have? Yeah, I'm, I'm holding the standard to the original Constitution that was written back uh, back in uh, 1787. I mean, that's that's the government we should have, and we don't have it right now. That's the problem. Should we have an Air Force? Oh, absolutely. But that wasn't in the original documents. Oh, sure it was. Uh, the Constitution talks about uh, the United States uh, uh, building a military, and that's part of the military. No, it said an army. It said an army. I didn't know whether you were a strict constructionist or not. It said an army and a navy, uh, raise a navy and raise an army, but it yeah. didn't ever say anything about an air force. But you think it's okay to, to interpret the Constitution that way and have an air force? Well, the, 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 na the navy has planes, doesn't it? Uh, um, no, but there's an air force. I, that's I okay with that... you. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Okay. I'm, I'm just wondering how liberal you read the Constitution. Is the Social Security system okay? Is it all right to have a Social Security system or not? Would you like to get rid of it? No, I, I don't think the federal government should be involved in uh, okay. the, the entitlement programs. And in fact, proof is uh, th that they're failing. Uh, should we get rid of Medicare that's evidence as well? enough right there that the federal government should never have gotten involved, yes. Should we get rid of Medicare as well? I think that's a state issue. Yeah, Medicare, of, Medicaid, 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 Social okay. Security, those are state issues. But we have a democracy and people vote for these things. That's the form of government. And I wonder what you criticize in the form of government. You disagree with the way decisions were made. Are you against the right of the people to make those decisions? Uh, number one, Chris, we don't have a democracy. Uh, we, we have a republic. And right. uh, uh, what we have today does not even resemble what uh, we used to have. Uh, take, for instance, the health care uh, issue. They've been, they're, they're buying votes to get it passed. Uh, Thomas Jefferson said something I think is very, uh, very appropriate for our day. He said, when injustice becomes the law, resistance becomes our duty. I don't believe that the health care bill uh, is a just law. It was uh, uh, yeah. uh, votes were bought and paid for to pass it, and uh, therefore it is, our, it is our duty to resist it. Well, there have been a lot of changes in the 20th century. I'd like to run through which ones you don't like. You don't like Social Security. You don't like Medicare. You don't like entitlement programs. What about letting women vote? Was that a good decision that was made in, in the 20th century? Was that a good change? Women weren't allowed to vote well, back at the time of the original the documents. Pardon me? Yeah. Uh, Chris, it is part of the Constitution. Therefore, it is a, uh, it's appropriate, yes. But the women weren't, women weren't allowed to vote until the 20th century. The Constitution never allowed women to vote. When the Constitution is amended, Chris, then we respect okay. it as citizens across the United States. Okay. I don't, so these I don't were remember these were the good Constitution things. being amended saying that uh, the federal government shall provide Social Security, Medicare, Medicaid, and universal health insurance. What about maybe, the, maybe I missed it. Has it been amended recently to say no, it was all that No, but it was amended to allow for an uh, income tax. Do you think that was a proper amendment to the Constitution? It's part of it now? No, is that I, a good I thing? don't like the 16th Amendment, but it is the law of the land. Um, uh, as far as the Constitution goes, I'd like to see the 16th Amendment repealed and the 17th as far as that goes. How about the one that allows people to vote at 18? Is that a good change? Yeah, I think that's fine. You bet. 
So how do you decide which changes you like and which you don't like? Because obviously we've gone through an evolution over time. Black people can vote. They couldn't vote. They were slaves at the time of the Constitution. That was in the Constitution. They were counted as two-thirds of a person, but they didn't get to vote themselves at that time. The Constitution writers thought that was okay. You don't think it's okay, do you, to have slaves? Chris, let me, let me sum it up this way. Anything that is in the Constitution today that uh, is properly interpreted is fine by me and fine by the people in Idaho. It's when, it's when President Obama gets outside of the United States Constitution that I have a problem with the health care bill, cap and trade, uh, a lot of the... Uh, out in Idaho we have a lot of public land issues. Um, I don't believe that the federal government should should own and control two thirds of the state of Idaho and uh, sixty percent of the West. Okay. That's not in you, the Constitution, Chris. Do you if think the United States amended, government should be allowed to reserve land, wilderness land, for the people of the future generations? Do you think we're allowed to have Yellowstone and Yosemite and Grand Canyon? Is it okay to reserve some land from development? Is that okay, or is that unconstitutional as you see it? It is, the, it is the state's rights to do that, not the federal government. Yeah, I don't have a problem with wilderness if the states agree to it, but I do have a problem having wilderness in Idaho when it's the people on the east and west coast that are making the decisions. That I do not agree with. So somebody like me who, who grew up in Philadelphia and lives in Washington in the sub suburbs who values something like Grand Canyon or Yosemite, I have no right to a call on that. It's up to the people who live in those areas. That's the way you see That's it. That's right. Grand Canyon doesn't yeah, belong to America. Like me belong? Telling, telling you how to, what you can do with Philadelphia? Do you like the people of Idaho mm -hmm. telling you what uh, you can no, do on the East Coast? No, but I think if we had the Grand Canyon, I don't think we would have the right to destroy it and turn it into a, a resort. You got the Atlantic. Chris, you got the Atlantic Seaboard. Okay, let, I'm just that, going through isn't that a, your views. Uh, a treasure? So, so your views are that Teddy Roosevelt was wrong. He wasn't a proper constitutionalist because he was out there protecting our lands from development. You think that was That's wrong correct. and unconstitutional. And you, you're against basically yeah, the I preservation of our open do. spaces. And you, the, the, what else? Those and, are for decisions you, of, for the people who live in those states. And what form of revenue would you have for the federal government if not the income tax? How would you finance the armies that we send overseas, the other program, national programs? How would you finance them? You know, we financed this country on tariffs for, for decades. And, uh, uh, so you're not a free trader? Then uh, some kind of an excise tax. I thought you were a libertarian. I thought you were a free trader. You wouldn't be for tariffs. No, no, uh, I'm okay with tariffs, uh, but I also, I also agree with free trading. I'm just saying that's the way it used to be. No, um, you say that's the way to finance to that that. How do we point? finance our armies in all these wars over in Afghanistan and Iraq? Who pays for those wars? You say no income tax. What would you pay I think, for them? I think right now probably the most uh, fair system would be uh, a federal sales tax. Okay, you're for a federal sales tax. Put that on your platform, sir. <laughs> Good luck with that one. I might agree with you, but thank you, Rex Rammel, for coming on Hardball and expressing your views pretty clearly. Appreciate I think it, people Chris. know where you stand. They know where you stand now, sir.